coming up with Goswell T. K. Mensa on the theme Leadership Be Inspired. Hi, welcome to today's inspirational nugget. We are still dealing with the concept of leadership even for this month. Uh, for this month, uh, we dealt with the principles of leadership. We look at the part one and part two. Then we dealt with the priority of leadership, the leadership of personhood. Today, we are dealing with the power of leadership. In the power of leadership, we see the influence and the inspiration of leadership. Many people dismiss the concept of leadership as it is not necessary. It is not critical. Listen, leadership is the cause of development. Leadership is the catalyst for change. Leadership is the catalyst for, for innovation. When you see a society prospering, it is not just coincidental, it's because of leadership. So we cannot dismiss leadership as if it is a tribal issue, it's at the core of our human existence. So what is that power of leadership? I want to situate a story that reflects the story of the third world, specifically the story of Africa. It's a story of the Jewish people. They were subjugated, they were suppressed, they were literally raped and ripped of their resources, their prestige, their glory, their identity, and their personalities. When you read the Bible in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 19, the Bible says, and I read, they set fire to, to God's temple, that's Nebuchadnezzar and his armies, and they broke down the wall of Jerusalem. They burned all the palaces and destroyed everything of value there. Take note, everything of value there. It was in this situation with the broken walls of Jerusalem, with the strong men, the intellectuals, the cream of the society, taken as slaves to Babylon. There we see in the book of Nehemiah, God rose a man or called a man. There were no overt miracles in that book. There was no splitting of a river or sea for people to pass, no manna, no opening of the eye of the blind. Lepers were not healed. But people of God enjoyed the blessings of God because a man stood up and leveraged the power of leadership for the blessing of the society. If you study very carefully, for 164 years, the walls of Jerusalem were in ruin, just like Africa. For years, our identity, our personality, our resources are in ruin. The walls of our, of our nations, our continent are in ruin. We are where we are because of leadership. We are experiencing the difficulty we are experiencing because of leadership. But Nehemiah, unlike our situation, stood up. He caught a vision. He rallied a people. When you read the Bible carefully, in Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 17, he came to his people. He said, let us rise and build so that we will take away the shame from our nation. And the Bible said the people decided to join hands for them to build. Ordinary men and women experiencing the blessings of God under the leadership of a gifted leader, the power of leadership. 52 days, what 164 years could not be achieved, was achieved in 52 days. Leadership is critical. Leadership is essential. See the way the Bible put it in Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15. The Bible says, and I read, so the wall was completed on the 25th of Elul in 52 days. The walls were built in 52 days. Why? Because of the power of leadership, because of the inspiration of leadership, because of the influence and the impartation of leadership. Ordinary citizens of a deprived nation, defeated continent, defeated people, ripped of people experience unprecedented success under the banner of a gifted leader we can change the destiny of our organizations of our churches of our nation of our company of our continent of our families if we understand the place and the power of leadership my name is god sultike mensa i'm excited to be part of your life as we glean this very critical nugget or insight on the concept of leadership. Stay around the social media handles as we keep studying the concept of leadership. Be blessed.
and become that power in your community. Be faithful.